not going to do that story right now. We're going to toss to Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, Harding, or Ashley Harding has an update from St. John's County on a crash there. We are hearing from the Florida Highway Patrol. No, it's not about closer, right? Yes, we are about to get briefed on that, Jen and Vic. Uh, let's listen in right now. Can you tell us what happened here this morning? This morning we had the black Ford that you see in the background was traveling eastbound on State Road 16 and the white Kia was traveling westbound on 16. For an unknown reason at this time, the black Ford crossed into the westbound traffic lane and the collision occurred in that lane at a nearly head-on angle. The driver of the black Ford was pronounced deceased at scene. The driver of the Kia was transported to the hospital along with a passenger. They are currently in critical condition. So they both are, and, that, and the white vehicle, both critical. As far as we know right now, yes. One is critical, one is, is serious to critical at this time. Uh, the deceased person is a female in her early 30s. The driver of the other vehicle is a male in his early 20s, and the passenger is either late teens or early 20s. And we were told that there was three passengers in the white car. Is the third person injured? Uh, we were only made aware of two people transported, so I'm not aware of a third person at this time. Have you identified the woman who passed away this morning? We have the driver's license for everybody involved, and they're in the process of doing next to can notification at this time, but unfortunately, I cannot give any information out until that's been confirmed that it has been done. Now, some neighbors have been telling us that this is like this state road um, 16 is sometimes a little dangerous when it comes to the fog, the weather conditions. Can you tell me, is this a dangerous road when it it comes to the, has there been multiple crashes this road before? I'm not aware of any recent crashes. I know in the past there have been some out here, but to the best of my knowledge, weather did not play a factor in this. It was not raining at the time, nor was there any fog in the area. What do you think caused this this morning? That is still under investigation. We're looking at all attributes right now. We're looking to see if there was any kind of medical condition. They'll check to see if there's any kind of vehicle defects on it. And they'll also check to see if possibly the driver was distracted. Uh, we don't have any information for that right now. But not weather? As far as we know, there was no weather that had any influence on it. What about the road closure? Any idea how much longer State Road 16 will be closed along this stretch? We've got the tow trucks en route right now, and as soon as the tow trucks get here, we'll start cleaning it up. They've just about finished everything that they need on scene, and that's the, the final phase is getting it. So hopefully we'll be out of here in another 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how long it takes the, the wreckers to get here and clean it up. We want to make sure all the debris is picked up so it doesn't pre create a hazard for any of the other vehicles coming along. Can you tell us how this has impacted so far parents getting their kids to school, especially like the elementary school that's right up the street? Um, I've not had anything to do with that. The St. John's County Sheriff's Department is absolutely wonderful, and they've been directing the traffic around. Uh, they've got it blocked off at the intersection down here, and they're directing them down, I believe, 207 or 206, and also down IGP to get around it. Do you know if speed played a factor? And if you don't know, but is speed an issue on this road at all? I, I'm not... It's pretty wide open. It, it is, but there's residents, and everybody knows there's a school right around the corner, so I'm not aware of any problems with speed, and I've not been told of any speed factors involved in this crash right now, but we'll have to leave that up to the corporals to conduct their investigation on that part. You said the, when it comes to the victims, um, you have a driver's license for everyone. Can you reference for me, are these all local? People? I don't have that information. I, I know one of them is local, but the other two, I was not told whether or not they were local or not, so I, I can't give you any information for that part. The one that you know of local, deceased or injured? Um, deceased. Is a local person. Local being a relative okay. term. Sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And we were just briefed by Florida Highway Patrol, and like you heard her say just now, that this began with one of those vehicles, that black vehicle, uh, for reasons unknown, crossed the center lane and hit that white vehicle head on. The person in that black vehicle did die here at the scene. They are working to uh, notify her next of kin. We know that she was a female in her early uh, 30s. We are told that the other people are now at the hospital. She said they are believed to be in critical condition. Of course, we'll keep you updated when we get any new updates as to what caused this crash and you heard her say they expect to reopen this stretch of state road 16 as soon as this wraps up so hopefully as soon as possible we'll, we'll, we will keep you updated on when that aspect does happen back to you guys